Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here in the Fuzzy Biker Garage. This is probably one of the last videos we're going to do out of this garage. Motorcycle today is this wonderful Royal Enfield Hunter 350. Check that hot ride out. I've had it for about a week. <laughs> Absolutely love these bikes. I've got a classic 350 myself, has the same engine. Just a beautiful little machine. This one's lighter, has a smaller front tire, a 17 inch front tire versus I think mine is 19. Right. So what is it? It's a 349cc single overhead cam. Two valves, single cylinder, air cooled, oil cooled, puts out about 20 horsepower, has about 20 foot pounds of torque, that's about 27 newton meters, and a nifty little five speed transmission. Now, this transmission, like all Royal Enfields, this transmission and engine combination is just perfection. The other neat thing that this bike does is the uh, ground clearance is a little less, about an inch less than the normal one, but there's no frame underneath the engine here, so the center of gravity is lower, and you can really feel that when you're riding this bike. Between the 17 inch front tire, the lowered engine, the lowered seat height, it's just, it feels a lot more like a handling machine. I actually call these the Hunter Scepter because they're so much like an interceptor. They feel so much like one. It's kind of a mini interceptor. Something I like to point out right away is, see how this kind of swoops? Kind of a neat swooping line. I also like the way this kind of goes in here and then this comes out here, comes out in both directions. Just very well done. Blacked out shocks, blacked out pipes, blacked out everything. Silver on the front, yellow stripe. Uh, jumping up here, we've got the uh, gauge cluster. I call that the oculus, like a giant eye, you know, with a pupil in the center. You got an analog speedometer on the outside. And the inside, you got this little nifty little LCD with a digital fuel gauge across the top. Gear indicator over here. Always visible clock and gear indicator. And right now it says trip A, but using this information button here, if you watch where it says so the number down below, there's trip B, and there's the odometer, and back to trip A. And then down below, I've got an alternator light, which I think all bikes should have. Engine light, ABS light, the bike does have ABS forward and back. Another thing I like about this bike are the levers. All the 350s of Royal Enfield have, have these swooping levers. They're kind of wide this way right here. They're narrow this way. They've got a good radius. They've got a good dog leg in them. And they work very well with these all style grips. They just feel good in your hand. Information button right here, pass to flash, low beam, high beam, blinker right here, push to cancel, horn right there. Now something I always forget to mention or show, right down here, that's a USB port. It's covered so it's waterproof. So you've got a little power source right there on your bike. Jumping over here, kill switch, run switch. Start. It's a rocker switch for start. Then the hazard lights right here, fuel and brake light. Seat height on this little dream machine is 31.1 inches, that's 790 millimeters. But when you sit on it, it really feels a lot less than that. And that's because the bike is so narrow and it's got that ultra low center of gravity. Fuel tank is about 3.4 gallons, that's 13 liters. And wheelbase, and this is really important, this is why it's so nimble, 53.9 inches, that's about 1,369 millimeters. Now, 400 pound weight too, by the way, 395, 400 weight weight, that's 181 kilograms. Got a 300 millimeter disc on the front with dual piston by breeze. The wheel is a 17, the tire size is a 11070 on the front, 17. And the rear is also a 17. It's a 140, 70, 17, so it's a pretty wide tire. Pretty good looking tire too. The rear disc is a 270 millimeter with a single piston by breeze. Gorgeous little motorcycle, isn't it? I, I just like the way the whole thing looks on the back. Little jet fighter-y kind of looking thing, isn't it? Hot rod, huh? You know what, let's get some gear on and go for a ride. Wahoo! Uh, beautiful day for a bike ride. Sun's out of shining, about 50 degrees, no breeze. Well, except the one we're making ourselves. <laughs> I love the way this bike handles in town. Very nimble, short wheelbase, ultra smooth, five-speed transmission. Works excellent with this engine combination. This is our big town main street, movie theater, bakery, bank, all kinds of nifty stuff here. Let's spin around and uh, go the other direction. How's that sound? Over yonder is our courthouse, Audubon County Courthouse. 1939, the end of the uh, Art Deco era. Seating position, you're sitting, leaning forward, but not a whole lot, but you are leaning forward more than you think. You do reach for the handlebars. The bars are, you know, away from you. Your knees are maybe slightly below your hips and your heels are behind your knees. It's kind of a tight spot right through there. Not as much room as on my classic 350 and not near as much room as there is on the uh, forward controlled Meteor 350. I think the Meteor 350 is probably the most comfortable of the three. 
This one's the most sporting, the most nimble, the most immature. How's that for a word? <laughs> the meteor's the most mature. Look at all that gravel, all that sand. There is Albert the Bull, world's largest anatomically correct bull. So the bike in the garage is easy. Pushes in and out, no problems at all. At low speeds around the parking lot, you know, out of the driveway, no problems at all. Just incredibly good handling. Lightweight feeling, well behaved, good mannered. This kind of riding is perfection. Does this very well. And I think it does a highway pretty darn good too. If you found yourself a nice curvy road, and I have on this particular bike even, it's a lot of fun at, you know, 55, 65 miles an hour. How about the interstate? I think I would stay off the interstate on it. Maybe for short jaunts, as long as the wind's at your back. The arch enemy of this motorcycle would be a steep hill or a stiff headwind. <laughs> the wind at your back is awesome. It really uh, makes the things feel like a rocket. Down. I love it when I want to go riding aimlessly, you know, where I'm in no hurry, uh, no pretense of uh, having a fast bike. You know, you just go out and enjoy the ride. If you want to develop your riding skills, this is the perfect motorcycle for that, I think. have made our way to Marty, Iowa. Little postage stamp sized town on the hill right over yonder. Beautiful little bike. We did a little bit of interstate. Amazingly, I was able to get it to read about 83 miles an hour. Had the wind at my back, that's very important. The bike handled it fabulously. Of the three 350s, this is the only one without the speed limiter on it. The Classic has a speed limiter and the Meteor has a speed limiter. So this will go about eight miles an hour faster, at least that's what I had it going. Just a fabulous machine, handled very well at those speeds too. I, I really like this bike. It's just, it's an awesome little machine. So besides the way it handles, the way it looks and all that neat stuff, there's three things you really need to know about a Royal Enfield. One is low cost of entry. You get over here to Baxter site, you can get yourself one of these for about uh, $4,000, $4,500, I think for a brand new one with a, with a full three year warranty. That's the other amazing thing. Second thing is Royal Enfield makes about a million motorcycles a year. So, so there is an incredible aftermarket with parts for these hot rods. I mean, anything you could possibly imagine. And if you want to see some examples of that, go to BaxterCycle.com and click on the uh, Baxter Custom Works link and you will see all kinds of 350s that they have just modded out to all in and they can do anything for you. Just fabulous, fabulous. The third thing is maintenance. I think the Indian market demands that uh, the bikes be easy to work on because I think they do their own maintenance for the most part. And what does that do for us? Well, we can work on ourselves or if we take them in for service, low cost. A very user-friendly motorcycle. Now, if y'all are in the market for a new used Royal Enfield, Triumph, classic British bike of any type, need parts, accessories, doodads, thingamajigs, get yourself over here to Baxter Cycle in the mighty metropolis of Marnia, Iowa, for they have got it all. Or go to BaxterCycle.com. Make sure you tell those folks that Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now it's a beautiful day here. <laughs> I'm going to take this one in, but I'm going to go get myself another one, and I'm going to keep on a riding. Life is good. Wahoo! Hey, exhaust my valley. Ha, 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 ha.